What's up, y'all? Welcome to Tabs Dirty Podcast. We're back in this Thursday night at 8 p.m. And I'm sorry y'all let me back into y'all house like all the time. But you're in the vibes loud. Y'all like always, y'all got two people with me. Y'all already met them before. They've been before. One person came on his um <laughs> his good foot. And the other person, they always pop their shit with me every single time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna let them pop their own shit. They said we got a lot of topics to get into. They got a fat stack. The last episode they have a fat, you could hear it. <laughs> they got a fat stack. You know what money. Saying? No topic is off limit. If you notice, women ask y'all what y'all want to talk about no more. You should tell me before you came up here. You know what I'm saying? So every question, every question is on the game. Y'all able to ask me questions back. Get into my. You know what I'm saying? We in a whole new era. Y'all on the couch now. There's no chairs. So I want y'all real comfortable. Real, you know. I see. Real uh, suave. You know what I'm saying? We got yeah. a new team. They doing their biggest mother. Big one. Um. Okay. So who y'all is? Adjust up. Who y'all is? What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sunny the rapper. Yeah. What's going down in Big Country Two Seventeen? Okay, okay, okay. And what do y'all do? I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> I'm a right. wait. What you do? I'm a professional shit popper. A what? Shit popper. Oh, I'm a professional shit popper. popper. Me too. Yeah. All right, but like always, y'all gotta take a shot before we get started. Hunchy's talking about he don't drink like that, but he, 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 he yeah, too shot. Yeah, in. type. He too shot in. <laughs> Sunny finna pull up a shot. I have a bar, shot that I got waiting on me, so I'm gonna take this shot. Up. And that shot, so just pour it as far as not pour it. I, you know. I got you. A lot of shit. Like you said. Dang. Dang. Uh, it's all right. That was a nail you just gave me. Baby. Baby. <laughs> Why you tell me to buy that one then? I told you to buy Don. You said brown, and that's brown too. The yeah, right beside us brown. So what did I do wrong? Nothing. You didn't do nothing wrong at all. Got, like, it's a little strong. Yeah. So you that's know, like, the one That's the one that gets straight to business. Grown man. Oh, I'm a like, grown Man, yeah. Okay, drink the hot bottle. Oh God, you can really put a straw in the bottle. That's yours. Let's okay, go. cheers to them at home. Clink, 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 clink. clink. Take a shot. See your shot. Take a shot. See that shit and be like, bro, this funny. So what's the moment the- to start off light or get right into it? <laughs> what mood are you in? Get right into oh, it. Okay, hold it. That's cool with you. There we go. <laughs> I get right into it. I'm on with it. All right. So my first topic is uh, near death experiences. I want to talk about. Have you ever had a near death experience? Yeah, I dr- almost drowned when I was like nine. Okay, <laughs> that's the worst way I want. I don't want to go out. Drowning. Me either. I ain't gonna lie, cause like if you drowning, you really can't save yourself. Like, you're like you know, what it saying? was the worst experience. You was in a pool life. or some shit, or you was in the ocean. I was at Waterworld. Remember when Waterworld? Nah. It was a t- uh, well, Are you, you from Houston? How do you? Twenty nine, baby. I don't know what Waterworld is. What Waterworld? Ready? I was like. You sure it's called Water so, World? it was attached to Astro World. I've never been to Astro World. Yeah, I don't think it was called Water World. What was it called? Was something. I think it was oh, called Water World. World. Not Sea World. But anyways, Astro World anyway, Water Park. Yeah, go. Astro World Water Park. And my uh-huh. cousins was in town. I might have been younger than nine. I can't remember, but I feel like it was around nine. And my older cousins was in town. My mama didn't even know that my auntie had allowed them to take me. And they wasn't paying That's attention. Yes, you and drown, they wasn't paying attention. They was talking to somebody, and I went and got on one of the slides that goes down into like a big pool with like a little cave underneath it. And it's like nine feet though, right there, like mm. where the pool party is. Was it nine I could... feet or like you've been dramatic a little bit because you're young? No, it was Man, really that nine, was feet. nine feet. Okay, she they dropped. had lifeguards <laughs> there to the left and to the right, and I had just. Like, I, I knew how to swim because my mama took me to learn how to swim, but I wasn't really, like, in pools like that, for real. Right. So I didn't have that much swimming practice. <laughs> Question. You. Did you did you, uh, did you you uh do the panic, like, touch the bottom, then jump up, or did you Hell just... Hell no. Nah. I was in that <laughs> life. <laughs> like, yeah, what the fuck like, oh, God. <laughs> because when I, when I slid down, I went really far down, yeah. and I was swimming, and I don't know what happened. It's like water got in my nose, and it, like, choked me. Yeah. So it was just like, I was no longer holding my breath. I didn't let my breath go. So oh, I'm so trying to swim this shit up. In. You feel me? And I started getting tired. Sure. And then I just started like, and then all of a sudden, I, I remember hearing underwater a lady yelling. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? And then I just heard a whistle blowing and they came in and got you me. You was alive. So I have a question for you. So, so imagine if you, how would you feel if you survived being shot 16 times? Whoa. I would definitely think that I have a purpose in life that I need to fucking fulfill. I mean, sorry. That I need to fulfill because God clearly still wants me here. <laughs> okay, for sure. Well, my near-death experience, <laughs> I got shot 17 times. Both of my legs, I lost my legs. Oh, you the one? Yeah. No, you the one. <laughs> 
Wow. And, mom, <laughs> and it's crazy because like, I just I just told you like they be trying to real life. You better fulfill your purpose in life. Okay? It's the music, but it's here. it's the music, the fashion, the putting on the clothes and shit like that. But at the end of the day, it's like my past and my future. You feel me? For sure. And it's like it's like ever since I've been like. On the genuine journey, I've been getting the shit stick, boy. Like, that's how it mama, be. baby mama. Well, you been getting what? The shit stick. Like, like bad end of the stick. Man, like, like you would never talk to me like this. Like, who are you talking to? Since you've been trying to be positive. Yes. My mama. Like, He's make been me, getting make, me, like, make me, make me, like. Do you believe that happens when you're trying to do right? More bad shit happens? Oh, yes. Oh, God. Uh, no, oh, for God. real. I do think. I feel like I've been doing right lately, and it's like, I've been well, just okay. Well, I'm not going to say more bad shit happens, because I don't really have a lot of bad things happen. I, I just think, think that I get tested. I think you aware to more of your that's Yes, your exactly. And then I start getting tested, and I start trying to work on me being so reactive. But have y'all always been good, positive people? Oh, yeah. I've always been good, positive I people. ain't never did shit good until, like, I damn near lost my life. Oh, well, then, but, yeah. But, like, taking care of my daughter different. and shit. Okay, so we transparently, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm a good father. Like, this y'all talking about, baby. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, you should. Like, um, I'm, I'm an awesome father. So I always wonder, awesome like, father. I feel like I had this conversation with you, but if I asked y'all questions y'all had before, that was a whole different show. You know what I'm okay. saying? So yeah. don't be like, you asked me the last time. Okay, I'm asking you now for a reason. <laughs> Not for sure. Okay, so I feel like my impression of you, and I want you to chime in too, although, you know what I'm saying? But everybody has a topic for them. Okay? <laughs> but we're all talking together. Not for sure. For lack of words, you was a grimy ass. I was growing that, up, bro. but you gotta but, realize this. Whole thought. You was a grimy ass, but I always felt like all the years of me knowing you, I feel like people would always say like, "Oh, don't like I push you." Niggas be like, "Why you with the nigga?" You was a good person to me. You already told me your reason why you was good to me. I guess because I'm a. You told me I was a good person, so yeah. you don't have to grind me. Oh God. So <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get grind. Uh, but I feel like tell them what y'all... happened when they play with you though. No. Yeah, I nigga, on my mama. Yes. Yeah. On my mama. On my mama. Yeah. Anyway, so basically I feel like, um, why do you feel like you feel like that was a product of your environment? Or like, are you were you always a nice, positive person? Did you ever have your era where you was like on some Oh, bullshit? I used to fight a lot growing up, but it was, it was always friends. No. Man. I was just like the protector of my friends and I didn't take disrespect very well. My mama from LA, my cousins like it's like we we got some people in our family, and we just always handle things a certain way. So growing up with my cousins and shit like that, like we just didn't play about certain. Shit. We always great people, but we really threw hands. So yeah. like for a long time, I had a thing where I was fighting a lot, but it was just for like a short period of time because you know when you in high school, and you going through, everybody going through emotions and shit like that. Like yeah. it's always little petty drama, and I had to learn like what to be reactive to and what not to be because I was super protective of my friends because a lot of my friends couldn't fight. So I ended up fighting for them. And I then I right. started realizing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to be that person. The older I started getting, like, I don't need to be that person for people. And I, I calmed down with the fighting until that one time I got tested with, oh, boy. You feel oh, me? Oh, okay. Like, yeah, you I'm know what I'm saying? Man, like, man, like man. I, had, I hadn't had a you fight. You gonna put me in some <laughs> Y'all both looking at me like, <laughs> I don't want to be in nothing y'all got going on. So, CC, so my question for you was, since you survived 16 times, you ever wanted to try to come back and finish the job? I don't know, like, one more. I got shot 17. Okay, 17 times. I'm Bitch, sorry. that shit hurt. Yeah, they, 17 times. You got shot 17 times. My mistake. Do you ever want to come back and finish the job? Do you still think that or wonder that ever? Nah, because at, uh, at first, like I used to be like real like hesitant about where I go. Like, right. what? Just like when she just asked yeah. me, like, why don't, I'm, yeah, why don't I see you outside? I'm like, I'm going to be the one at that. You feel me? Like, why did he come type shit? But uh, nah, it's just like I don't put myself in certain positions because at the end of the day, like, it wasn't cool to be janky. I was being is janky to survive. Nah. Is it fear? Nah, it's mm -hmm. more of a. It's more of a. That I'm not finna take sense. my bed off to let you with me. Like I'm not down to do business to be friendly to. Let what you, you call it? Not fear though, Sonny. That's not fear. That's being smart. I'm on a chessboard. Mm -hmm. Like I live a different type. I live a totally different lifestyle. Like, like he said about the surviving thing. Like I know like, people who was raised out of survival and I love. And at the end of the day, when they put they back against the wall, they just do whatever it is to protect them. And yeah, I like, think that sometimes people don't understand that, especially then, if you're raised out of love. Then you got to you know realize this. I mean? Like so, I put people' life in jeopardy. Like my baby mama got shot ten oh God, times. Wait, like. <laughs> like on God, like yeah. So like, I think about shit like that all the time. Like going back, seeing my car, my daughter bullet. You feel me? My daughter car, she got bullet holes in it yeah. all type. Of, like, so that's why I moved the way I moved too. Though. So do you ever to... worry about like Ooh. what's up? Right. I'm just. Like, I said, do you ever worry that being around uh, other people could put you in danger? Like, did you ever wonder really? Like, I feel like when everything happened to you, like we kind of had like had a little space between us. Yeah. But did you feel like the people that you was around, like you damn near put them in danger? Like for lack of, I I can't do that with you, but. 
There's somebody hanging around that I know I can't post because it puts me in danger. Y'all not a fan of this. Vice versa. You somebody I feel like not. I've always told you I never feel like you was putting me in danger, but yeah. you always would tell me like, oh, yeah. Because like, yeah. I know what's going on. But I've been like that. I feel like I hang out with people who be like, do not post me. You're going to die if you post me. <laughs> and I'll be like, I love you, You're though. Like, so like, how do you feel about that? Like, do you still feel like today you still feel like you putting people in danger? Nah, because they got this uh, Houston us thing going on right now to where it's like they, they stopping the violence. But Christina. at the end of the day, like, um, when I just spoke on the sh- like, I just, I just, I just, whatever y'all want to call it, go viral or whatever the case may be, a lot of contracts came to the post. Like, I got people like, that were stopping opportunities for me, speaking on me, like, commenting on my post, like, oh, well, I feel like you should do this. I feel like you should say this. Like, people like Big Who, Miss Megan, and... Like that, you know, like I started off with like being over there with walking, like that, you feel what I'm saying? So like, I really feel like with me, like I had a lot of keys that I didn't know how to appreciate because I wasn't being fed. Like I was damn near starving watching eat. Like, like I was like, I was damn near like, like, like I had the talents to pop, but niggas was telling me like to ask to rap. Like I play a song and nigga be like, too hard, but ask bro, can you rap? You feel what I'm saying? Like, ask what? Ask bro, can you rap? Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, man, I get the... I can't even pull out what? my phone and pull out screenshots. Man. Right, you're confused, right? I mean, like, like, what you mean hey, asking you rap, hey, man, though? Like, man, I'm tell you something. Like, I'm going to tell you something what's going on with me right now. Like, like ask if you hard? Say, if you a hard rapper? Yeah, I'm hard. confused. Yes. I'm hard than the... No, but I'm saying but when nah, they said nah, ex they bro like, who... Ra- they like, like, you hard than the... Bitch, I ain't going to lie. Like, I don't want to push you and I ain't pushing So they need... Oh. I need you to, I, Basically, real life, like, we ain't going to... Because this the that's damn near doing everything, handling our under the umbrella so if he don't want you to rap I damn near can't go against him right mm. so okay. that, that was the one thing basically. That, you wanna put like that label yeah. type. Uh, you feel me then it's like uh, I deal with real life gatekeeping you feel me like I got conversations with hey that's the whole Houston big NBA big me. big like I'm talking <laughs> about like, I kn- like, like like real life like I know the biggest like the way y'all episode going I can't go order my cars cause y'all touching it all the time is that the <laughs> yeah, it's time? good though like, like it's chill, cool cause how your story from that turned into music. That music because was that's, last. That's, that's, okay. Because at the end of the day, like I feel like everybody be like, "That's what you here for? What you here for? All I do is put on clothes and make music, and I take care of my daughter." You feel what I'm saying? But that's all you need to do. Nah, but it's like, damn, pay me. Like I'm a, pay like pay me. Okay, like, so let me run through all these questions for this one before we get to the music. I want to put a pause on the music because I feel like that's something that y'all bucket because what you did, touching on is what I want to touch on with you mm-hmm. in a way different way, but it goes together. I didn't know that was your story too, to be honest. Okay, so. I got people stopping dollars for me. Like, I got. Shut up. Yeah, Why do you like, reject the label disabled and how do you prefer people to talk about your experience? So, I mean, last time you came, you was like, don't call me disabled. Do you feel like you're disabled today? Hell no, nah, I can do everything. I have fences. I whoop. <laughs> I do everything. I, I just told you, I just loosen my prosthetic. So, do you feel like your run. prosthetic leg is a disability? Yes or no? Yes. But I'm oh, not disabled. Gee, I didn't even know you had a prosthetic leg. Let me, leg. Let me see. Same skin tone. Same skin tone. And the, the oh, calf my God. Muscle. I got hit up seven. To look, this how I almost made these chopper boots. That is so dope, though, because I didn't chopper. even notice. Like, when you nah, was walking. I, I, nah, I love I, that you wear I, shorts. I ain't gonna lie. That sound yeah. dumb. I say a lot, but, like, I, I wear, wear shorts. shorts. No, for real. I, sometimes I wear above the knee shorts to show you, like, I ain't even got no kneecaps. But I'm handsome. Yeah, you a robot. Nah, I'm not no robot. And that I be fighting and everything. <laughs> All right, so dude, both of y'all, that's a good I question. So f- everybody's been through hell, like physically and mentally. For me, that's a weapon, sir. Oh, For real? no. What? My legs go around here. It's kind of bitches took my leg and put me in the wheelchair. <laughs> they say, f- get them an Uber. Uh, oh, Aubrey Denise DeWitt. They say, f- get them an Uber. I'm what's going on. They yell, give me that leg. Oh, my God. You finna see this wheels. <laughs> All right, so do you ever feel like, so you have survivor's guilt? Or do you have survivor's guilt by any situations? Do you have survivor's guilt? Okay, survivor's guilt could look different. I feel like you're very successful, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like there's probably people in your career so far that you probably already left behind. Bitch that you probably started off with that you like, whatever, girl. Yeah. Do you have survivor's guilt? Not really. Because I'm the type of person that really holds on to people. It takes a lot for me to let you go. Same. So if you did something to me for me to let you go, it was damn near worth it. Like, it was worth it. Hey, can I ask y'all a question? What's up? How do it feel? To, ask, ask question. How do it feel to make profit off y'all craft? It feels good, and like I'm how, not gonna lie. It took someone else to come into my life to help me understand, like creating your own motion and your own brand, and having a worthiness about yourself. So shout out to Bob Breezy because, to be honest, until she came into my life, like I didn't understand. I came from being signed to Matthew Knows, going through artist development from where the label we didn't see nothing. We just got taken care of, got put in the house. 
groceries, gas, like, you know what I'm saying? That was it. Like, so I didn't come from seeing any money from my music to being independent, to being a solo artist, to having somebody come into my life. And like literally within six months of me becoming a solo artist, I started getting paid from my sh- And I've been getting paid ever since. And I haven't worked a job since 2014 because I, I lived like- off my music. So it's just like, I didn't understand that because you be one to be nice to show love to people who, you know, help you along your career. But like when people really with you, they'll pay for you. They paying for everything else, bro. If they really fuck with you, if it's a promoter that really fuck with you, or if it's a a, a person want a feature, they're going to respect your crap and they're going to pay. Now, you can do a deal. You can, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm worth something, especially if I'm bringing something to the table. You see what I'm saying? You came to me. Yeah. Like, don't come to me asking me for nothing free. You clearly some, see some type of value in me. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because I'm so not outside. You just got to create that emotion for yourself, honestly. Yeah, my fault. But uh, it's crazy because like, mm. I outside looking in. Like, I told you, I've been seeing you, but, like, your work at the least, like you blackballed. I feel okay, like, yeah, let's I just thought skip, you was let's just skip to the goddamn part. Like me and stuff, like we're going to your part. I might Sunny, be. Sunny, yeah. Sunny, you know, we skip it to you. Nah, cause you be, okay. <laughs> you be. You was the last time, hey, boo, hey, but we gonna go skip to you. Like I listen to lyrics. <laughs> you, and when I hear her rap, I'm like, oh shit. This your first time hearing something like this? I like no. Breezy tells me this all like, the time. I said, cause you sat up and you kind of like, oh, because no one besides her has ever said it to me. Oh, we skipped here. I, like, I, I, like, for real, real. Life, though, like, I'm gonna tell y'all something about me. Like, I do feel like your success, your big local success, should have already happened by now. Yeah, it's it's way past it now. I yeah, like it's like okay, at this point, girl. See, like, but that's chapter. why I've been branching out to other cities. Like, the I love see, yeah. I get in Atlanta and in and, and, and LA is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Atlanta, and I it sucks because I don't want to leave Houston. But this 2025 was gonna be a lot of me gone because like I have to leave. For people, because it's crazy. It's a mental thing. As soon as I leave and I come back, I get hella bookings. Everybody, all, all my story, hella high. Everybody want to know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a mind game, I feel like, with people. And unfortunately, Houston is a bandwagon city. It's a cloud city. We were just so, talking about that. My next topic may, I love you today. You know, I rock with you. <laughs> but I want to have a genuine conversation about my next topic with you and your music. Okay. It's me being very authentic and real. And I've always wanted you, do you know this about your brand? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. There we go. Do you feel like your worth is measured by your looks or the people in your videos rather than your actual talent? Do I feel like my... let's not say your looks. Okay. The people in your videos. Do I... Do you say that from Do you feel like we, people are measuring your talent by the girls in your video? The girls you're choosing? No. I, but, well, I mean, I know that it's going to take a little bit more for me because I'm going against the grain with what the average female look you like are. and who I want around me. She's really not, though, because at the end of the day, girl really did it. Like, it's not, I'm not comparing and contrasting, but it's like at the end of the day, but, yeah. when you being blunt about who the f you really is, they f with it. And I'm not sitting, like, I just tell her, like, okay, I see yo, what you're I'm, I'm telling her, like, yo, work that I'm like, you dropping like this because I feel like you black ball, but like, you really hard to know. Like, when I'm seeing your, like, like I'm, I'm saluting this shit like this Visuals shit hard in the bitch. Your that's what's, that's what's, you yeah. know, what's, Thank you, know, what's you. I appreciate that. Me to you like it's like on some shit, like you not you being blunt about yourself. Like you ain't you ain't shit cause you ain't on no shit, like. Oh, I don't want them to feel like if I wear this, they just think I'm a <laughs> symbol or something. I don't feel like when I see her, yeah. that's what I see. Like versus other girls, like I gotta be in a full body suit, I need a jump to make this hoe so they can see my lyrics versus my body. Type. <laughs> Like, you right. Feel what I'm saying? So like, so like, it's not, it's not the- He acted up. Man, like a motherfucker, because I ain't gonna lie, like, I got the best advice, but I don't take my own advice. And that's why it I It be like that. It. I'm the same way. Like, bro, I swear to God, I got the keys why to this like shit. That, like, but I it's- I think that's human nature. It's just, it's just like with me, bro, like, I feel like, I feel like I don't got that, I don't got that body that give me that extra push. You feel what I'm saying? Like- But you also a lazy ass. No, I'm not. I feel but like, I feel like my snippet- no, so- it's serious. I okay, feel like, put I feel like my I want you to chime in on this. No, I, you got to shut up for a second. Right. Let me get your ass what? Sure. It don't matter. Right, okay, yeah. so I feel like this, and then Sunny going to take it. We're going to take turns. and are talking a lot. All right. So, don't my friend been no knowing him for shots. years, right? This nigga had, has had every potential and opportunity where he could have been where he needed to be. Mm-hmm. Prior to the whole situation he has. Mm-hmm. Could have been. He wanted to be in bullshit, hush, dumb, ratchet, clown, fool, broke. Grimy, oh, ratchet, yeah. nasty, ugly bitch. Mm. I throw it in there. Um, which one of my hoes is ugly? Like I try. <laughs> <laughs> which one of my hoes is ugly? Every bitch I pull up on you, you be like, "This is a home talking to that bitch." Be ugly as. Even your friend. Yeah. 
So why is that your friend if the ugly? I've had ugly friends. You got, ugly friends. Stop yeah, playing. Okay, I'm not going to say that. Oh, my mama, you better not say that. Say the name, say the name. No, <laughs> but these are the people that <laughs> say. So it's not that I've had ugly friends. I just know that I've had people around me that people don't see pretty. I'm the type of person where I see beautifulness in everybody. So okay. you can't sit up here and ask me, but who's ugly? Okay, my bad. That makes me so, beautiful. <laughs> not to Sunny's caliber. Personality. That's why it takes them me to come out dry. with a person. Let me stop talking about these hoes. That's me. Why are you talking about these hoes? Because the bad bitches man, that y'all like on Instagram ain't got no personality. That you when I put up to that fucking apartment, that white hoe, that random ass hoe. Okay, Ugh. well, the other culture. A white hoe? Yes. <laughs> a pale white hoe? Light skin, super light skin. Let me tell you what a white hoe is doing. Yeah, I know what you I'm always say what some hoes be doing, but it be like, okay, Ugh. so why are you even looking why at? Why you got me around? The way? Because <laughs> you see my daughter. See how beautiful that is. Your daughter's pretty. Yeah, cool. Y'all baby mama pretty. Woman. Yeah. Okay, don't do If you that see one. a white girl, I'm glad you had a baby by a Come black on, woman. Man, I'm just being yeah. real. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna be a band with y'all. Like the only reason why. Go that route is because, but we not, we ain't really even got the mind power to be arguing with y'all like that. Y'all, <laughs> man, y'all be ready to. I know that's what it is. They always say, man, y'all gonna lie. Y'all gonna take y'all lies to the grave. Yeah, I know you ain't talking. Yeah. Y'all be lying. But when we tell the truth, we tell the truth. It's like, damn, bitch, when we When we tell the truth, we tell the truth. <laughs> damn, <laughs> when, though. Keyword was when. No, see, that the problem is with hey. black women. Black women are becoming so independent that it's hard for no. them. No, they don't want to take certain shit no more. Y'all were niggas. Babe. Yeah. Y'all were niggas. And no, it's starting to, it's it's starting a, to make me want to vomit. Bro, this past year, 2024, the highest growth rate of a certain race that has become a uh, business owners is black women. Oh, you're talking about like yeah, on, the I'm not talking, yeah. on the paperwork. Yeah, I'm talking about We're talking about the ratchet hoes he Oh, okay, but no, I'm saying I'm in general because he said <laughs> talking, the I'm reason talking. why black they go to white women is because they, they ain't feel like arguing back and forth with no black bitch. No, I feel like, like the reason why I like you in these cars. I feel like the reason why this type of nigga, this scenario of a nigga, this is a hood. Him, this is a hood. You know him, what type so. of nigga would you call this? A shit popper. I ain't gonna lie, little real. No, shut up. Shit f with me. I think he, I think he's in the street nigga category. A street nigga, okay. Yeah. A street nigga is gonna go to that type of, them type of, because they know that a, not doing this. Yeah, you're right. What? On my mama on every aspect of the board, what is a bitch not doing for me? <laughs> no, like a put together, like a full uh, mental body yes. good put on together. My mama, all on like everything a wholesome I stand for. girl. Listen to her, she right. I don't, I don't, a wholesome I don't, I don't, girl. I don't even fuck with nothing that ain't wholesome, baby. You gotta have your mind together to fuck with me. I gotta be able to talk wholesome. to you. Who? Key was wholesome. No, I didn't fuck with her for that. I fucked but with you. But you say you don't fuck with no I, fighting now. No, bro. I'm talking about literally like on some goddamn near tweak out if I if you play with me. If if I say like, if, if, really if, if, if I love when I seen Key at your homecoming, we ain't speak to each other. I was you you said it. You was like, bitch, I act like I don't fuck with you. We like, bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'm popping buns though. I don't give a f But on a different aspect. <laughs> Why he's so like, animated? He's so I know. <laughs> on a different so aspect. Animated. I don't give a Fuck, man. I don't like drinking. Oh, wait, this is so random. We're going to pause. Like we got to pause. This right. to do that episode. Remember the boy did the episode with the light-skinned boy? He had yes. that predator with him the last time? Uh, uh, hey, I, I thought know. we were supposed to talk to people outside the night. I know, but yeah, that's uh, okay. okay. I know. Yeah. Empty the clip on her. I got a song coming out called Empty the Clip. I got to shot my shit at her. Damn, but it's talking about shooting the club up. Not man, I okay, back to Sunny. Okay, okay. okay. do you believe... Okay, so like, I'm just... The cards are too formal. Okay, so I feel like... The girls, you know, can I speak freely? Freely. Defend them. It's a podcast. I thought they'd be friends in real life, but I got to do my job. You buy Sunny a shot or you buy all the girls a shot and they look how they look? I'm not buying Sunny a shot. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'm not okay, if you already I'm, got the bottle, I'm, you give Sunny a shot. I'm f with Sunny out the gate. After this, that's my dog. Oh, God, but. Yeah, she can get a shot, but I ain't going to lie. I just, I'm just not that type of. I'm handsome as. You gotta buy me a shot. You're a princess. Oh my god. I'm not god. a princess. I'm not a savage. You did not get princess energy. No, you did not. Like, princess. You lucky to get princess. So what's wrong? So on, 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 on the other you end of the stick, okay, on the other end of the stick, what's wrong with knowing on they worth? A shot? What's wrong with knowing on they worth? See, see, if I saw you in the club, I'm giving you a shot. That's just how you kind of say hey. Dog. But no, that's how you say hey in the club. Like, here. Yeah, I don't go out like that. That's okay, freely well, that's what I meant by like, you buy her a shot or you give her a shot, period. I need a shot right now, y'all. Let's take a shot. Take a shot. I'm type of nigga like, did you brush your teeth before you even touch this bottle? Oh my god! Like, oh, pour it in her cup. This. Let's go ahead and take it. You did. Cheers to me. Cheers. Oh, I'm gonna cussing like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've been trying to stop my cussing. 
Okay, let's try it. No more cussing. <laughs> okay. Jesus. So, my bad. But to really elaborate on your question, like, I don't know. I just really feel like I went through a stage in my life where I felt like I was ugly. I didn't feel like I was a baby. I didn't feel like I was like where the average, like on social media girl wanted to look like. And when I got my confidence, I got my confidence when I became a solo artist and I really had to depend on me and my brand. And I realized like what I wanted to represent and who I wanted to be. And I just feel like I wanted women of all shapes, sizes, colors, features to feel like they was important because the the one thing about me when I infiltrate the industry, because I know I will, I want it to I want to normalize having normal black women in 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 things, in videos. I feel like Rihanna to me is like the only person who kind of goes against the grain with the type of women that she chooses to represent her brand. You know Rihanna what I'm saying? Has a like brand? Oh my god. No, yes. no, 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 no. <laughs> and I also feel like as a influencer and artist, people that people look to, it's like, let me show you something different on my timeline. Let me show you something. Because everybody can have the lashes, the, the fake lips, the lace front, the BBL body or whatever. And we know what that looks like. We know what that is. You know what I'm saying? We know what that come with. And they to me, they all be looking like high class hoes. Like, I, I feel like I go to a page and so the aesthetic just, gives me, just, I sell. How would you describe like, the girls that are in your video? But I feel like the women that are in my video are like regular n- women who are going after passions, going after things that they want, but they're not on that point where they feel like they have to conform to what the normal person is. They're embracing so their features, so their natural answer, hair. Not, you haven't answered my question yet. What? Do you, that like, did. do you feel like that's what's holding you back? I don't do necessarily feel like that's holding me back. Okay, so what's holding you back? I feel like what's holding me back is the bitches in your video? No, it's not the bitches. <laughs> it's the bitches in your. Try it. Do one video without it. All right, for Try you, it. I'm gonna do one I video. Give you a video. Shake my ass. I bitch get some other views and that. I I will do one with you. Wait. Where where it it gives the typical bad. Bitch. Okay, I might have three or four of them in there. Nothing too crazy. Cause Sunny, you be looking good as fuck, and then it be like your songs be like. No, but one thing like, I do know is <laughs> I did have to have my friends step it up on certain looks and images. And then you, let me say but this. But they naturally started friends, doing that. You have the plus size girls who is finest. Of course. My best friend is one of them. Maya. Okay, she yeah, go yeah, viral on TikTok about. all the time. But then you have like. I mean, Twitter. The natural hair girls who got a bandana on their head. Like, no. <laughs> that bitch will beat video. you up. Yeah, like. That's why she got in the video, though. This bitch will beat you up. You need to I was about to say, they are my hitters. They are yeah. the right. Uh, they okay, are. Yeah, they they, feel it, me. they yeah. are the ones that be ready on site. You that's feel me? Gotta like, keep them around. I want you know, before we move on. I want you to know that I'm saying it with love. Cause I feel like that's a weird thing. No, for me it's to say okay. To your face. You're not. You're not the first person. I hope to, I wasn't. To necessarily go that route with explaining to me the points of image and branding. Cause you be looking five. Thank you. I appreciate that. Then it's like I look. Five. Don't worry. <laughs> like, 2025 is gonna be a whole nother level yeah, from the visuals. To everything, like, so I'm taking into account of everything that I feel like is worthy of my ear and advice for me to process. And do you think the brand gives, like, because to me, you're not. I don't know if you think you are, but you're not. Is your brand big girl music? No, I mean, I am thick. Don't get it twisted. I think I am Miss Thick. Thick like was my crown right? song. But then it'd be like. But I am an advocate for big women because I have a best friend who's plus size. You feel me? And I know how it feels to be overlooked and have the beauty, have the personality, have all of this be, be overlooked because of your size. I and I think that that's like, sometimes it takes someone outside of a plus size community to be an advocate for them, to give them certain opportunities, put them in front of the camera for certain things. But I do understand being sloppy or being, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I feel like in the beginning, sometimes I had people around me who was on some sloppy. Yeah. And then... As time went on, even How with my men, I had to just send messages out in my group chat. <laughs> I put everybody in group chat and like, hey, when you step out with me, make sure you wear your bitch, put some makeup on, da 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 And I just had to do like that. And then naturally, people started being like, damn, like, let me make, when I go in, I was sending, let me make sure I'm on my best. Like, naturally, people started trying to catch on. Now, there's some people that's around me, unfortunately, that are in certain financial situations where they yeah. just be down on themselves and they don't give their best self when they come out. 
And it's unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? Because we we live in a time where niggas running so high, niggas are struggling. Yeah. Okay? And I get it, you know what I'm saying? But at you the same start time, not the clothes. That's what I do. I didn't start giving all my clothes now to my friends. I do like, that. Anything. I was about to say, yeah. I, I'm you clearing be house. You see me do that. Die. Yeah. I, I, I don't care because I, I'm an artist, so I can only wear things so many times before mm-hmm. I be like, like, all right. I like a camp, like have a friend that's like, hey, you do all I hair, girl. Or you do all I makeup. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so my friend who's my makeup artist is, she just started doing that where she started recently um, doing my friend's makeup and just touching people up before we go out and stuff like that. So like, we're slowly getting to that point. Now the hair thing is different because I go to someone specifically. I'm a brand ambassador. They not about to do my friend's hair. But we have friends in our camp that do hair. Yeah. And now my friends are starting to go to them. So we're getting it together. They understand the motherfucking mission of 2025. It's funny that you say this because this is a conversation that so like you're gonna use we this video kind of like, all be like, had. Hey, Sit uh, yes. quick. No, for let's real. Let's watch this clip really quick. Yes. Now let's talk. So you can understand what people are saying and thinking. Because no, this I'm is the last thing that you this, want. Because I know my camera only. Come for a second. <laughs> it's nothing against y'all. But I have to understand it. I have to learn it. I knew that from the get-go. Though. I've always had nothing but bad bitches around me. That's how I could. That's why we're here today. <laughs> um, You got to look a certain type of way. And I, I'm not saying you got to not, not be yourself. Have your own style. You can be the weirdest but like put that shit on, look put a certain way. You know what you know what clean and neat look like. Yeah. So I'm asking y'all to look clean and neat when you are representing somebody. I used to have friends that used to hang around me. And I used to have to start telling them. Me being a man telling my female friends, like, I don't really I'm not a fan of like the fucking edge is not laid today. I'm not a fan <laughs> of these dirty ass shoes you keep wearing around me. I'm not a fan of certain shit that you keep doing. So I feel like it's okay to communicate that. And I feel yeah. like for you having a brand, I feel like that's what I feel like personally is holding you back locally. Mm-hmm. I can't speak on every other city, but I know if I send your shit to somebody, they're gonna be like, "Why the fuck you got these girls in the video?" They're not even worried about. How did y'all find it? About what you're saying, and I like even me being a consumer and knowing you personally. When I see your shit, I'll be like, "Ooh, she got this girl." Like, it's like <laughs> sunny, damn. Like, how did y'all, God, how, did y'all find the, how did y'all find the courage to really like start y'all own growth in yeah, like y'all audience? Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like right now, like I'm mean? sitting, I'm sitting on like two tapes, four videos, oh, and it's because. It's because, like, I don't want to drop on my own YouTube and get, like, 20 views on that bit. You just got to market on. yourself certain ways. Link with influencers. Pay for blogs. Market yourself. But You got to get in front of a different audience. I'm so janky. I'm scared to take a chance. Like, I'm scared to send $250 to post my video on this page. Because, Unfortunately, like, that's the, the like, like, literally, that's what we live in. When you pay for self services? I've never had a situation on the internet because my, my management... Or there's usually someone else speaking for me that usually handles majority of my things. And we've never really had that issue. But I just feel like you really got to do your research. Like, you can kind of start telling nowadays what's real and what's not. But you also have to pay attention. Like, don't just immediately fall for something. Because there's a lot of phishing. There's a lot of people who DM you. No, nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't sure. I don't really respond to that. It's usually me reaching out to somebody else when I want a service. I don't, I don't really take that just sent to my DM. Yeah, me neither. Let's take a shot. Let's do it. Well, I didn't even take the other one. I didn't take. I didn't take my other one. Okay, let's take a shot. I'm really. Just take half. No, I'm gonna take the whole one, but I'm really lit. Like I don't got like I'm ready for eleven o'clock. On God, this next topic finna be a strong one. Okay. Oh you want to? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Let's do 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 it. let us Take the spot out. Hey, baby. so look, take my phone ain't out. ring not one time over there. No, just take the spot out. Hey, that phone ain't ringing. A, a, a no, nobody another? calling you. It's right there. He got a clean one right there, facing down. No, that's dirty. That's dirty. Cam, can we have some more shot cooks, please? Yeah. I got nappies right here. Ain't nobody calling. My motherfucking cigarette on the blood. <laughs> you and this degree. Uh, I got it. Totally that is it. bad for you. Do not need that. Huh? The account. I ain't gonna lie. My I shit. wanna suck y'all, Tony. I don't even. Is that a. No, that's Black China Mama. I hate that hoe. <laughs> You seen that video when it's like when I go through the phone and I gotta uh, wait till I get home when the did this, she did this, she was looking at. She looking at the camera like this, man. Uh, look. Uh, come on. You hear me? I hate that I hate that video of her when it's like I just went through the phone, but I gotta keep my composure so I get home when she's doing this. Oh. Man, I hate I ain't gonna lie, I did not like that girl, mama. 
All right, cheers. Let's take a motherfucking shot. This next topic finna be motherfucking very intense. I hope me and you are able to, you know, not get into it that bad. But me? No, Della oh. boy. This little man. Why are we getting to it? I'm a twig up. You tripping? I know. It was not that serious. You know I'm dramatic on the show. Nah, take nah, it. Nah, I'm going to take it. Okay, here we go. A mess. Wait, can I hit that vape, bro? Please. He's dying. He's fiending. Them vapes got y'all looking like crackheads. I don't hear nothing. I don't even I just want to let y'all know. I don't even smoke vape. I smoke cigarettes and blacks. My friends do, and they be say, up looking for their whole life. Say, I don't smoke vape. <laughs> I smoke cigarettes and blacks. Man, I smoke. I got a. I got Cigarette a, is the worst thing to I be a dick to. Baby. And then you Newporting it up like we in the 80s. Man, I'm from. There are Fudge way I'm more from, consciously I'm aware from cigarettes out West there. Like way. <laughs> my, I'm from Fungin and Because my mom for. smokes them. They're expensive. They're like little skinny stick cigarettes. And it's less tobacco in there. It's to help weed you off or it's a street you nigga. At a think he give a f about that, girl. If he could get something that had double tobacco, I he would want buy you it. to live a long life for your daughter, don't you? Well, she, she ate you up. Okay then. So How she ate me be up? a little she smarter with I your habits. Are you? <laughs> then a bull. <laughs> you would take a honey thinking about stuff like that. I'm trying to be here for my future kid. I ain't got shit. On God. <laughs> hey, 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 look, look, this anything that ever it been attached to my face and my body, I don't take honey packs or nothing but ask them out. I can say, I ain't got my phone, bitch, all the way in Miami DM and me talking about some boy that experience with that one leg. I gotta see that again. <laughs> on my mama. What's your with one leg? You fucking Sunny. right. What's I? I, I done had a bitch. Sunny, what you fucking with one leg? What the fuck? Mean? Because I mean, okay. Well, I'm not gonna say like, like that. Scissor in one leg. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, but I was you saying. Like no, I mean, I I haven't dated in 2016. Why you don't like? Um, I'm uncomfortable around me. Cause y'all think y'all. No, I don't think I'm a nigga. This is a woman. You feel me? Far from thinking I'm a nigga. I've had I have childhood trauma, I think, from men that just grew into like probably animosity, which grew into uncomfortableness, uh, which grew into me just feeling like these. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I just haven't went back since, honestly. But I have respect for men, especially my black men. I think black men are handsome. Nah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Like I appreciate the black men. I'm not one of them men. What else? What are they handsome? Gays. What else? What you mean? Like, keep going with black men. What else do you feel about black men other than handsome? I think they're important to society. In what I ways? think that they create trends. We are leaders. We. We. They. They. We. Well, I mean, we as in black people. Black but women want to be black men so bad? No, I do not want to be a black man. No, I, but want, I want to hear a black woman really speak highly on like, black men. I just feel like, think about it. Like, are the black men in our, in our history in that has. I ain't gonna lie, like, real life. The I ain't really had nobody. He won't take, let me. I ain't had nobody take my feelings into consideration into like this. And I almost caught her a bitch and I fuck with her so much I can't even call her a bitch. Like, and she Hispanic. Right. Like, I swear no, to God. No, I think like, other cultures probably like, praise like, like, black men more than a more, black like, woman. Like, but like, that's just because black like women have been through way telling, black men. A motherfucking up telling you like what you really deserve. Like, uh, a motherfucker really like asking you like, well, Some we're not going to talk about the Spanish community. They worship them niggas. They be getting ass beat and have to pop out 12 kids. So, yeah. look, I, I them can't hoes sit up put here. 20 hickeys on it. They don't matter. They're a little cuckoo because at 16, they could go off and get married and have children, and they're still children. So, it's a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Like, their culture and how they're raised, oh, no, they're, no, no. they're raised to praise their men. Black women are raised to survive and take care of their children because nine times out of ten, your husband or your going to be in jail or he going to be dead or he going to be whatever. Unfortunately, that is the it's realization of a black woman. So they have to be stronger. And then when they are with a black man, they have to hold them up and help, literally hold them up through so much bullshit. So it's like either way it go, they get they get stressed. <laughs> you know what I mean? What so, it's, it's, but it's, black men are needed. We're needed. We're yeah. needed. The first person who created electricity was a black man. Like, our minds, y'all, I'll say our, because I feel connected. <laughs> black men's minds can be deadly to society, and that's the reason why they're trying to suppress y'all. And I think that, unfortunately, because of the things that we've been through in our generation after generation, it makes a lot of black men emotional. And they don't know how to control their emotion, which allows them to be in messed up situations that put their ass in jail like from mother. one emotion in that one moment that you couldn't control. But, but that's from suppression of so much in our community and our parents, parents. It's like, 
Yeah. Unfortunately, I feel like black men aren't just, they're we taught to control their man. emotions. That's I the reason like, why I the Jills is. I feel like wait, wait, with wait, wait, so wait, wait. many black steer, men. Let me see because we on emotions because it's perfect time. Yeah. Next topic. So the next time I want to talk about is showing up for your friends. Uh-huh. Yesterday, I feel like you had an emotional fucking rant with me. Uh-oh. I, I, screen, I, I screenshot it just in case. So, <gasps> all, right, all right, look, can, can you gonna we're read gonna it? We're going to be honest. Cause I feel you like read it? Perfect, no, I'm not reading it. <laughs> can you let her read it? No, we're going to talk. We're communicating. They're talk not reading it. Talk you don't need to do it. Like, like, who going first? Nah, who B, you want to let me go first. Let me go first. Well, see? He can explain it. Let me Come go on. Because I know you're trying to get I'm, it out. I'm going to be a band I'm going to be a band with you. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Hey. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be a band with you. Like, I believe in Zodiac sign. I'm going to cancel. I'm sensitive in the Okay, I'm a Libra. So, with with Merrick, see, I ain't gonna even call him Zion. With Merrick, it's like I'm right there through the controversy, and when it's like, like I feel like I wasn't really fucking with him for him. Like, it's like you know, like this you is that free, friend. Like I'm I that get nigga it. that be like, bitch, I don't give a. My baby mama is like, bro, why are you with him? That's my the word dog, is gay. Bro. The word is gay. Good. Yeah, like, I'm okay. playing with me, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Versus not everybody like opportunists. It's Zion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I feel like when we having conversations, like bro can be shady. Like broken, broken say some shit to me. And I'd be like, who are you talking to? I, I'm with you in the I ain't gonna lie, bitch. I, I remember back in the day when bitch you used to feel what I'm saying. So like I, I even try not to even make him feel like he doing something because at the end of the day, I'm a grown ass man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole different shit going on, you feel me? So I be having to like, I feel like I be had to not not humble him because he, you know, Mary America, real ass. Bro, right. man, don't do no flush, and that's ver- that's rare to say I don't do no flush shit. Bro, ain't never did no flush shit to me. But at the end of the day, bro, have made me feel like, damn, like, bitch, come back down here with me. Like, bitch, I'm your partner. Bitch, I'm the same nigga Richard was day one. Like, when this was damn near, I'm right here out and about. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm out and about. Like, I'm with you. Like, through it all. Like, I'm not with you because I'm gonna ask her you this conversation and... because I feel like she could vouch for a lot of things and I feel like you made me at a pivotal time. I feel like it's gonna be a four conversation because I feel like what you just pulled is I need to back up on the Merrick side and you're gonna back up on the Zion side because you made me at the peak of Zion, Zion right? and you made me at the same. Is nothing has changed. Yeah, and I feel like in your eyes a lot has changed and nothing has changed. Y'all really have the same experience as me. <laughs> I feel like I act the fucking same. Do you feel like right now this moment acting the same? Did you? Yeah. Know? Bitch, but I, I I already told you like when I feel like you be, you feel me? Got this jacket on. Like I be telling you when I be feeling like you be popping. So it. what do you think? What do you think changed the most about our friendship? I feel like now like you got a lot of people that accept you for who you is, and like it's just like now you can like you feel me like you can pop it more. Versus like a nigga like me like, bitch, I'm a gangster and I'm rocking with you. It's like I don't give a fuck what you do, bitch. Like nigga, better not play with you when you with me. Oh God, but I feel I like y'all could help me, Sonny. One of y'all could help me. I don't understand what you, you said that yesterday. I don't understand what you mean by you could pop it more. Cause I feel like now you could be yourself. Like what? Because what? like 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 I ain't gonna lie. Whether you see it or not, like when you was in college, you wasn't as cool as you were. Like 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 you was cool. Like you was like hand to hand and shit. like like you were building up to be Zion. But it was like at the end of the day, like it was always like a. A second guess, like you always needed a push. Like I now I feel like you don't need that push no more, bitch. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a jacket. Bitch. Like like it's like me, like bitch, singing that fire, bitch. Like I know can't nobody f with me. You can't tell me shit, like on any aspect of anything. So when your real partner talking to you and trying to bring you back to a level, like to was like, but why are you trying to bring me back to a level? I'm not trying to bring you back. That's what I'm confused on. I'm what not trying to. I'm not trying to bring him back to a level. It's just like I just feel like I just feel like I just feel like when he talking to me like. Yeah. It's like he not talking to me like he talking to Hunchy. He not talking to TT. He not talking to Terrence. Like, okay, but like, is it like uh, team? Did I not fuck up and text TT when I had said his name? Was I not like TT? Oh my bad, Hunchy. But like I kept saying TT. So do you feel like whenever you're talking to him just one on one, like fuck the show shit? Whenever y'all are just talking, are you talking to Zion or are you talking to Merrick? I don't even know. I don't know Zion. You feel me? Like I know Zion, but I know Merrick. I fuck with Merrick. Like, okay. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm talking to Merrick twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it be times where it's like, uh, you know how he is, like, for his birthday. You gonna tell me. She was in the car. You gonna tell me. Hey, stop texting me. I already texted you DM. Bitch, who you talking to? Bitch, I'm just trying to make sure you right there right now. Bitch, I want to pull up and be outside waiting on Sunny. you. Pause, I feel pause, like. We sent you all the information. Sonny has events. Sonny, you have weeks. We sent everyone the information. Yeah. Pause, pause. Sonny has weekends. <laughs> Does it not annoy you when a bitch has a schedule and she know what time you say you're gonna be at the club <laughs> and she calling you and texting you and getting on your motherfucking 
ain't ever performed the day inside, everything is going on it's like will you just pull up to the goddamn address it's so many people you be having to keep up with when you're the person Man, throwing you know, something Go. I just need you to be responsible and make the right. time. Just read the, the messages. It's all there. Right. The <laughs> show is all there. What about me? Hey, funny. What, what, hey, hey, what about me when I send out my messages to my partners? I'm a rapper too. I pop my shit too. I'm, pres- I'm, I'm the I same. Think that that would, but I still. Every we're time somebody, about, we're talking about his birthday. We're talking about yeah, September. But 12th. I think that like <laughs> when you start handling more things Listen that up. you need to have more people like involved with, yeah. that it gets harder for you to communicate with people directly in the midst of happening with anything. Like it's hard for me, even with me. Like my friends have gotten to the point on my community where they've got other people numbers and they know to call other people when it's my day or when it's something I got going on that like they're attending. Region. Because they already know I'm having a thousand people hit me up. You could be you feel me? Like they start calling each other. They be like, hey, well, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's just like, it's just so overwhelming that the average person can't really like take in the the attention needed for and each do you person really understand that's texting that you. Yeah, I do. And I like today when you called me, before you even say you look I said, do not start calling that calling me. And what that's I said. The first and what I said. As far as how he like and talking said, text, though. I feel like you've always been. And what I said, though. You're a very dry, blunt person. Like, straight and to the point. And that's why telling that nigga. Like, like, but she's telling you that I, she I, knew I, Zion I, I, not married, so she said, I've always but been she like that. I've met but him, she damn near telling like that. you right now in the same words. Like, I almost told you, like, bitch, who you talking to? <laughs> Have you ever felt like who I'm talking to? Nigga, I'm my mama. Nigga, not necessarily. I just feel like from the moment people give me who they are, I take it as that. And he never switched, so I don't take it personal. Now, if you was a a friendly, detailed person with me and then you just started being like that, then I'm like, what the fuck yeah. this nigga? Then you know, can catch I would you feel away. But if you give me that, if you truly real, know, I know that there nah, are like, some people who I are just like that. Can I say what that. I think it is? I'm gonna be a real nigga. <laughs> yeah, it is not a little a bitch, nigga. but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drop. I feel like sometimes you can't, I feel like, do you feel like I left you behind? No. I thought like that's what it sounded like earlier, though. Am no, I no. That's why I get what you're saying. I no, get not why at all. you ask that, yeah. and that's why I'm confused on the levels thing. I feel you like you never saying, truly you keep doing this, like, answered that question. You keep saying, like, I'm trying to bring you back. So I'm trying what to bring you back. Nah, because like, I'm like, trying to bring you up. Nah, it's not that. It's like, I feel like I be feeling like, bitch, when you talking to me, I don't know. I think I think I just, think he I just wants I think to feel more I, I, like I, a friend not, when he's not talking even, to you. Not, not, not even that. Not even that. On my phone. Like, that's my dog, though. Not even that, though. Like, it's just coming from a. But it's coming from a brawler standpoint. It's coming from a, 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 like on some young nigga dumb shit. Like bitch, like bitch, like we ain't never talked to each other like that, bitch. Like oh god. Yes, like, we did. We would always play with each other and be in. So I talked we... this crazy. I talked to this crazy. I play with Sunny. This nigga calls me a big back I bitch once a day. Crazy. <laughs> I tell this bitch she called on the phone with me. I'm like, you a man, girl. You ugly, hey, girl. You hey, look hey, like a nice girl. Like I be on look, her ass. Hey, but look, but, but like, I tell you, I love y'all. No, but she so. Instead of the day I was trying, instead of me saying I love you, I was like, and yeah, I hate you, bitch. Bye. <laughs> Come on, pull it up. Oh, I brought, I, brought a, I brought a bottle. Would you like some Luna's Wolf? No, no. drink this. Oh, drink this done. Drink this done. Okay, but I feel like, have no. you had friends, Sonny, that you feel like are trying to keep you at a level that you're trying to grow from? Um, I apologize if I feel like you feel like that for me. But that's what, gonna, not, is that not what it sounds like? No, I get what you, I get how you can feel that way and I get how he feels because... Because when you tell somebody you're trying to bring them back down to a living, they're going to automatically start thinking to like, feel that way or think like that you, way. I'm not talking about your mental state. I'm not talking about your success. I'm talking about like... like I like guess here, like bitch, when like, you talking like, to him like, like, personally. Like, like I'm not a child. Not even that. Like, bitch, you even know how my emotions is. Real, bitch, you know how, it's sporadic like, and it's out of control. Come on, bitch. So why so you he want wants you to, like to deal with he all that? He wants though. you to why take you that into consideration like when you're texting and talking to him. Why are you talking about No. Why are you talking about no? You my dog, bitch. Sonny, you're in the middle of this. Come on, babe. Why are you talking about no? I feel this like... Show, you the host. This is, this is like I get no, the no, point no. of feeling like I'm too overwhelmed to take this all the time. Yes, I know you because you have weeks too. And this is what I was and just going to say. That's hold on, when up, sometimes it matters Please. whenever. The people who are really closest to you, sometimes you got to check back in and be like, hey, thank you so much for being in my corner and dealing with my... Sh-. You my dog, you my... N-. You ain't got to do that all the time, but sometimes you have to revert and kind of like every three months, but he always got to hit him wrong. up. He always got to be like, but that's him. That's his personality. You know how he is. Just like he know how man, you is. Guy, lie, this nigga, you know that about this, him, this, and it hasn't changed, has nigga, it? Hey, this nigga can call me. Just like you feel like you haven't changed. So it's the same thing. Hey, it's this, just you're getting more overwhelmed. You're getting more things happening in your life. So it's like you have less energy to give to it. So it's automatically making you short with it. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to just be past it. But unfortunately, that's his personality. So no matter what, he over here like, but you know how I am. Like, you know what I'm do you, saying? Okay, like, so I'm going to tell you, if I, do you understand if I win tomorrow, you coming automatically? No matter what? For if sure. If I talk to you tomorrow, next day, the next then year, I know. 
three I years know, now, bitch, you coming. In my heart, bitch, I know it. He's grandma, let's I go. Get your fucking leg strapped on, let's go. But that don't matter. Like, Why are you talking to me, bitch? I'm going to still talk to you like this five years from now, bitch. Bitch, we going to fight. And that's cool. <laughs> hey, look. But no, I need you to understand, like. But that's how like, I be with friends. And I think, I think because you just I like, a friend I like, like you, this. you get sensitive. I, you have been sensitive all you But guys. I'm more genuine now. <laughs> okay, well, baby. I'm not using Add a little nobody. grime to this friend. I'm Add a little fuck. grime to no, it, baby. Add a little nigga, insecurity like, to it. It's like, it's like. Nigger it up. It's like, I, and then like, like, <laughs> like, like talking to y'all right now. What's up? Like how y'all how y'all handling me like y'all not handling me how y'all feeling? Like, watch how you nah, talk nah, to him, son. No, 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 real life though. Real no, life he though. got mad at me about no, the words earlier. Real life though. He got mad at I, me I, about listen, the words earlier. Listen, earlier. listen, no, listen, no. How y'all gaming me up about how how much success can bring contrast? I ain't got that much on my line yet, so yeah. I'm able to answer it's the phone not, every time my partner calling me. Hooked. And I get it because you're not at that. You're not at that space yet. I'm able to send out every phone call like, yeah. "Bitch, you need to be here." You're not at that space yet, and that's okay because you're gonna get there. I'm gonna get there, because... and then you are gonna understand why he is the way that he is. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a timing thing. Yeah, you're right. Literally, it's just a timing thing. Like up, that's right. why when people become successful, they always say that. Sometimes the other person on the other end starts to feel like they're acting different because they're not in the same rooms as them, in the same situations as them, so they're not going through the same experiences. So they're not feeling the same feelings, and they're not going through it. So it's kind of hard for you to, you know what I'm saying? To like understand what he's to understand. From. But yeah. can I say that sometimes it's slightly, and I hate to use this word, but you know, it's like for the sake of the podcast, I have to say this word. But I feel like saying it out my mouth is a little weird. I don't know how you're gonna react. Slightly, sometimes. My human version of myself without knowing you and being your friend, sometimes it's sometimes sounding like a little bit of jealousy. Yeah. Being transparent. But I always knew because I know you, I knew it never could happen. Yeah, like, not, like a motherfucker, not that. Yeah, bitch. But I'm not it's that. like if I didn't f with you, yeah, for real, you think I'm jealous. That shit sounds yeah. like some jealousy ass. Yeah. Nah, but it's, it's like, not that, I know bitch. you're not a jealous. Yeah, it's not that, bitch. I'm, gay. I'm gay as fuck. Why you just a gay nigga? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God. But it's like, and it's also like, I know our friendship, but I just feel like, yes, I feel like when you tweaked out, uh, you crashed out, spazzed out, tweaked out, crashed out, whatever you want to call it. Did the most. Um, I feel like you always just put me like at this plat, this like you always, and I feel like you always try to do is like I know Merrick, I don't know Zion. It's like you trying to remind me of like no one's hiding their name, especially not in this era. I don't give a fuck no more. I used to try to be like, oh my name not Merrick, bitch, my name Merrick. I don't care. Yeah, this whole true. team know me as Merrick. Yeah, didn't try to do the whole Zion. I emailed them from Merrick. That's what it was. That's what it's gonna be. So I feel like who's gonna be. But I feel like at this point, I just feel like in our friendship, and I don't know how you feel about your friends, because I feel like as you get bigger, too, I feel oh, like you're going to have mother's... Situation. Oh, you have. You know, I so it's it, like, yeah. I feel like... People I say automatically out, come around word, you and so feel entitled. So what's the advice we give to friends like that? Oh, God. Who don't understand what you are? Yeah, not even that. Who don't understand, like... What don't you, you understand? Handled, like, like not, not, even, not even how you been handled. Like, bitch, it's like... It's like, I see you... I see you as like accepting a lot of shit that you wouldn't accept, like a whole bunch of shit, bitch. Like, what do you mean? Like as far as like a lot of like fake shit around you, bitch. Like a lot of like a like a like a lot of opportunists around you, bitch. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I feel like you was just like more vocal, like bitch, like you was just like I mean, I was meaner. Yeah, like that... bitch, like it was like it was like like, like when the and I'm not saying this but because I feel like, like you could not, not every time I was mean, I mean, to her, she didn't like me at first. Feel like I'm trying to bring them down. You know what I'm saying? No. Now I feel like with the I feel, like, I feel like you didn't became more lenient. Okay, let me help you when he's like trying to say what he's saying is I'm gonna have to do, I'm doing fake names for the sake of the conversation with you. Okay. That's like saying that you cool with us in this room, and then next week you decide you wanna be cool with Beyonce, Mariah Carey, and them. It's like, why you fuck with Beyonce and Mariah Carey now? That's really what he's saying. I feel like... And then you remember earlier you brought up the whole, you got to hang on. Hold on, hold on, Okay, listen. Earlier Why is you fucking with Beyonce and Mariah Carey if they saying fuck me? Oh, okay, I so know look. she. She's talking about some ghetto ass. I want to tell. Can I say her? I'll bleep it out. Can I say it to her? I ain't gonna lie. No, I, if you say it, I want you to bleep it out because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm it's gonna, gonna, have, to it's, it's it's gonna have to go on what's going on with everything that I okay, got going are you on. Aware for who? Real. It's good. We ain't gonna speak on it. Like real well, life, I, I, ain't gonna, like, I, ain't gonna, I got real life street shit going on. I made it. I hang out with. I'm, some, one, I hang I out with, I'm really, really close man, to love. That made it cool to cool. say push up on okay, my mama, like nigga. This. I'm one of the niggas that made it cool to say push up, nigga. I hang out with nigga. I hang out with a bitch who, um, who, when he had his incident, I didn't know this though. I didn't know her at the time. Right. Posting to her close friends, ha 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 ha, at him that he got shot up and all that. Mm. I didn't know that about that situation. Mm -hmm. I wasn't posting. I was with her. Mm -hmm. I think I posted her after she went to jail. Mm -hmm. I'm like this with her to this day. 
I'm like this with him for shit show. Am I like that with her more than him? Mm -hmm. If it really come down to a girl, stop playing. In reality, she ain't ever vocalized next to him. I never told her that I know him. She don't know. We, me and her are friends alone. I don't know none of her people. She don't know none of my people. Bitch, we're gotcha. friends alone. Gotcha. I don't even know the street shit that you deal with. I feel like he took that incident and realizing I'm her friend and now like everything has become like, why are you fucking with that person? This person did that to me. But I feel like I don't know that person did that to you. Yeah, you're telling me this, but it's like, that's not what that well, person is I... showing me today. Because I have a lot of niggas who say, well, I said it brought up earlier, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas think you're grimy as I, I don't know that you're grimy. You never been grimy to me. Why would I have to be I grimy treat, to If you? you want me to do that to her, I got to do that to you. Really? Because you're asking me to do what, what you want me to do to her, I should be doing to you. So a lot of people want me to do that to you. My right own blood on. brother wants me to do that to you. Right on, 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 right on. Right on. So? Right on, right on. I Drop feel like... Low. Drop the low. Yeah. I feel like when Drop people are friends with you for a long time and they know you and they've seen you grown into all the different stages in your life, they have like a different type of like protection of you. True. And so with him, I feel like he has a different type of protection over you because he knows and seen all the different stages that you went in. He keeps reminding you, I know Merit and not Zion. Because unfortunately, when you have a brand that you create, Zion is your brand. Saying the rapper is my brand. When you have a, a brand that you create, you go by different rules than your natural, normal yes. self. But people who don't switch up, like with him and his, he's unapologetically him. Because he doesn't have anything where he has to bring other people in. All he does is his music. And he puts, like he said, I put my music on. I mean, I do my music and I put my clothes on. So he's not dealing with other people having to bring in other people, having certain a business where he depends on other people to come. Like you depend on other people to come for your podcast, for your views, for your influence in general. Like he doesn't have to do that. So that will never click and to that's him. that's the yet. Also, yet. Yet. Yes, yeah. I like, like what you're said, also not this, you're gonna have because to do it eventually too. he's gonna sure. have to bend rules about himself that he doesn't realize he's gonna be bending. Because somebody gonna come to you one day and say, "I know you feel a certain way about this person, but this person is connected. This person was connected to this person, and we need this person." And when you start seeing business happen that way and realize that your success and things that you need are dependent upon this person Facts. or this person, it's like, well, damn. Do I throw all of that away for a cold or do I play my cool and keep it cordial and keep it cute? You know what I'm saying? Or do I take this to my advantage? Because everybody thinks that things differently. I'll Sometimes be a real fake or not. I don't know if you're going to be a real or not. And that's the part of you growing up, like, you know, growing up into him being Zion, knowing him, knowing his heart, knowing who he really is, is when you got to have understanding towards the situation and but automatically know that there's a bigger reason to the decisions that he made. And Come just up, trust buddy. that he'll never switch up on you. Come and it's on. like it's like this though, like when, when we having these conversations, I be like on some, yeah, bitch, you right, you got it. You, I be trying to kill it, but he always be trying to like, nah, that's not that, bitch. Like, like trying to let me know, like, bitch, like it's not that, bitch. Right. Bro. I really be like, he be saying like, bitch, you who be wants to have too much? Like, you do. I go up and be like, bitch, I will go up and, and say, please. And I'm girl, he started calling too me too a bitch and everything yesterday. Girl, bitch, instantly uh, the first message ass. was you a bitch. Oh damn. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Bitch, I'm fresh off the Sir. job. See, you got me the uh, hitting people Man, up there not and even it. in that energy. Man. What was you finna say? I want to know. <laughs> that nigga no, I just want to. I just want to say. Hold on. Oh, um, <laughs> not to pick any sides or anything, but I do understand where he's coming from with him, friends. Buddy. Him, both of you guys, but I understand him when he's talking about friends, like meeting you where you are, because like you're saying, like you know me, bitch. Like this been me. Like I feel like. That's the way he's saying to you, like, bitch, you know me. Don't, don't, don't like, not like in no hateful way. Don't be acting Hollywood, but Wait, it's hold like, on, come here, give me the mic. That's fire. I don't gotta repeat that, right? Here. Go ahead, you good? Okay, so yeah, I just think, um, because me personally, like, I have a strong personality as well, and I talk to some, like, I talk to my friends a certain type of way. But when I meet new people and I gain new people, sometimes I notice that, like, I wouldn't call it sensitive. I just feel like that's just the way they, because I could be sensitive too, as well as me having a big personality. I think just like people have to learn how to deal with you as well as you. Sometimes you can navigate how to deal with if that is your true friend and you do see value in your friendship. You have to navigate how to deal with certain people because if you know that his emotions, like she was trying to say, like his emotions are, like, that, is that what you were trying to say? Yeah. Know. Sure. Well, like his emotions are like that. Sometimes you know, like. You kind of, you know. I with that behavior. You don't always have to deal with that behavior, but I think after having this conversation today and y'all are true friends, I, I think maybe. You don't always have. Bitch, we've been having this conversation damn near like seven years, bitch. 
You don't always it's have to deal with being but connected. Because do you feel understood? Do you feel like he understands where you're coming from? It's I. It's not that I feel like he just really feel like I don't give a fuck about him for real. Like I don't feel like. See, like at the end yeah, of the it's day, a, it's at, a at, at, at the end of the day, like yeah. look, this, you make a lot of assumptions this, about not, how I feel, though. I know, I, and I'm but sorry, that's it's because you've been explain. being, you've been being short with him. Oh God, like so when you be when short with people, I have a whole different. Do you have every ratchet? You hung out with that fool. Let me, let me, let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. I've been through situations where because I've been short with people, people have created their own assumptions about me, my feelings, and our our relationship. Sunny. Because I'm not times. giving them anything. So people run with that shit in their head. They, they go left. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, it's like you don't have to overly explain yourself, but sometimes people need something or they will assume and it will not be what you feel like it is. Sonny, it have been times That's where like, it have it, 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 it been, it been times where like, he needs I didn't, that clearly. It, it, but it's it, a straight, a straight, like, okay, in my mom thinking like, you should be more a little bit, too, be, uh, lack of A lot of street. Sorry, more stiffer than that though. It no, is just me. Nigga, it, 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 no, it 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 let me get, let me get these. Let me get, let, let me get this off though. It have been times where I didn't brought you like, like around my T Jones and like around my my partners and like and like like at my APT and you like damn bitch why all these niggas in this house? Bitch <laughs> on the same talking to flip niggas like. Bitch, what you got going on? And then, bitch, I'm dying, but I'm diving and shit. Like I'm like. Bitch, don't even play with him. Nigga, on my mama, nigga, he ain't gonna make okay, it. Okay, I feel like this. You said it all the time, right? There's been times I brought you around people and it's like, why this hood ass? Why mama, this mama, extra I remember, ass? I remember, I remember. Why this? I here? Remember, why you got in this environment? Why you got this? I don't want my shit out. Don't pick your shit up. Uh uh. <laughs> so we oh have, maybe my, my shit is just lame because, bitch, what my preference is. Whole time I like people now, let niggas know that. But it's more so like, yeah, we both have to, we both have, I, I've made sacrifice, not even sacrifice. I've just had to let, I've had to give people, check people, hey, bitch, it ain't that. This my dog, period. Nah, for sure. So I feel like no matter where I go in my route, even if I don't talk to you for five years, know that I'm on a mission to make sure that me and you can eat tomorrow. Nah, for sure. So I'm just to be transparent. There is not much I think you physically do you. Yes, you can do a lot. In my heart, I want to work this right. How so many years? Man, mm -hmm. just There's say it. There's not much I feel like. I do feel like you have a setback because of your situation. There's a lot of setbacks, and I feel like there are things that you are gonna need my help with. That I genuinely am working towards. That I feel like when I get there, see. You ain't gotta do that no more. Come on, here, boom, just go. Right, walk in that door right there. Christine, boom, walk in that door right there. Go, like, just go. I don't have to talk to you every day. I know that, nah, but sure. I feel like you do a lot of like the weird, like unfollowing me shit, or like it's just like, it's like why? When I genuinely know at the end of the day, like truly in my fucking heart, before every male figure in my life, it's just you and JB. I talk to JB a lot at all. I probably see JB two times a year, but mm. you. No, damn near when it's motherfucking time. Please pack your belongings. It's time to go. It's time to go. Because y'all the only niggas that accepted who I was. Y'all accepted mama. Merrick, the gay boy, who didn't know he was gay yet. Who trying to figure it the fuck out? So it's like, the extra shit kind of be like giving me like, okay, well, if I want to count you, like, if I if I want to forget all that bullshit and treat you like how these other bitches that acted weird with me, yeah, you, if I didn't have, if I didn't have history with you, yeah, you would be kind of weird nigga too, the way you be reacting to shit. It's like, damn, nigga, all I did was repost a sunny song. <laughs> Like, damn, fuck. Like, not scared to do that, bitch. Like, I can't do shit. Then he was going to have that. So that's when it but comes down not, to you having to understand. It was self. I think that's a lot of and self. And have no insecurities within y'all friendship. You no got to know. And no insecurities. I just want to know. No, because like, you I just got wanna, you testing sunny, the solidness. But Sonny, though, like, at the end, I'm not never testing solid because I know he had never put me in harm's way. Putting that person, but that's different. Solidness and putting somebody day, in harm's way is two Mer different things. What Merrick don't understand is... By you being like this, it's easy for a nigga to die. I get that. And like, that's why I, I say I, you I, have it a certain so, different type so of much, potential it, over it, here. It, 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 not, man, it didn't be so much bloodshed in this shit that I got going on. It didn't, I done lost wow. limbs to this shit. Nigga, my BM nigga got hit up by this shit. Like, it's certain shit that my partners can't turn away from. And I understand what he at. What, you feel me? He's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got to do that type of shit. And I respect that. But once I reach out and once I say certain shit and I feel like you giving me a cold shoulder to where it's like, bitch, you ain't even hearing me. It's like, damn, bitch. But sometimes you I mean, have you to know be... this shit real life, life or death. Like if you if you was to even mix this shit, like This is my friend who come to my house and we sit in silence. I was about to say, sometimes you have to be less reactive to things. Because... He reacts to everything. Exactly. And then the next day you want to come over and chill with me. And he'd be like, why is he too? Like you have to be less reactive. That bitch to ignore my phone call. Everything, five times. unfortunately, don't, don't deserve. That bitch ignore my phone. Sunny, Sunny, kill him. It's my show. It's the whole shaking ass on me. Oh, 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 o
music playing in my phone on five percent. I didn't post it every day. You, that's like he just but if said, I'm your dog, you know if I'm your dog and I'm calling you randomly, I never call you. You should answer for me, right? Five times is crazy, yeah. And then gonna DM, if you're fuck up. texting me, gonna <laughs> DM me and gonna say, call Oh, me. y'all know this, man. That <laughs> bitch don't call five no. times. The bitch call once and send a period. Now I send a period. That bitch send a period. It might give me like, it might give me like, say, fam, what you want? Bro, what you mean, period? Take like, a shot to the period. I just ain't answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we wrap it up and shit like that, I want to basically get y'all Instagram names and shit like that. I want to get y'all opportunity to get into my business. Any updates y'all need from me and shit like that. I know me and you, Sunny, ain't seen each other, and I feel like I know. I don't need, okay, Sunny, real quick. I don't need her fucking fans trying to be my ass. I do feel like I had a topic with you. It was oh kind of like God. a little. I'm a little like like fuck. Did I say that? But yeah, you gotta apologize to her friends. <laughs> I saw the um, friends of Sunny video vixens baddies. Biggies, you know what I'm saying? Rollies. They just look, um, everybody, it's just motivation for everybody to step that game up. I'm the type of nigga, <laughs> if I hear some shit like this, Sunny. I'm stepping my motherfucking game Sunny. up because you got me. You gotta do this so it can be cute. I'm about to shit on you, hoes. <laughs> All right, let's take a shot before we wrap it up. Y'all Instagram names are gonna be below in the comments and things like that. But you know, this is Sunny Rapper. This is what's your Instagram? You changed like five times. Man, I'm Big Hunchy, man. Big Hunchy 217. My grandfather died February 17th, man. That's Oh, my, my grandfather leg. was hard for me too. Oh, my soul, I ain't even cried about losing my leg. Like, so I ain't gonna lie. Like, I really be dealing with a whole bunch of trauma. Though that's why I be fucking with you too. Though, because like you, no, I do feel like you need a therapist. I, I, I do you have like yeah, mental issues. I tell you like a lot of shit that I don't tell people. Like, so like, bitch, like you know my reality. Like, like the grand. I also like, feel like real quick for we tap, we're gonna tap in. We gotta tap in. Tap out real quick because I gotta go. But. I do feel like the reason why I think you have these issues with me is because I feel like I'm not as accessible to listen to your problems anymore. So I feel like you be having issues because when you do need me to listen and be, you want to, uh, what's it? What's it when people want to like come like trauma ben, dump? Oh. Ben, oh, but Ben is easier. Okay, it's easier. Okay, <laughs> um, ben, um, what the fuck wrong with him? And I said, yes, I feel like because sometimes when you want to vent, I feel like you. I told you yesterday, I feel like you only come to me on your sad days. Even when I tell, like, I think I kind of like, I didn't really go into details with them because yeah, I, I, get, I, get I get them disclaimers by everybody gotta walk in this bitch. But I think I tried to, like, I didn't, I didn't want to say your business, but I was like, he gonna be like, I kept using sound effects. But Christine, <laughs> though, even when I was talking, I was like, he gonna call me and he gonna be like, like, just like, like, it's like, dog, like, bitch, I'm about to kill myself, bitch. And it's like, I gotta sit here and be strong for you. And it's like, you see, I feel like you never called me and be like, how are you doing? All of this new career shit that you're dealing with. And how is this? I feel like the last time we had a real conversation in that garage when we talked about when I told you how I feel about that situation I was in. Yeah. See, you got to remember everybody else nah, got everybody problems too. Everybody got too though. But look, let yeah. me tell you something. Hey, like, like real life though, bitch, like, I apologize, bitch. Real life though, for not taking your feelings into consideration, for thinking that my trauma is bigger than your trauma, bitch. Everybody go through shit. Yeah. And so I let me say this now. Nah, I feel like, like you, I understand you got shot. Period. It's not even like, it though. But I feel like it was a lot of the years. Being with you. Shot it was me like, on the chest you know, board, I'm but... different now. I'm putting like, it's like, dog, oh, God, damn, fuck, shut down, down, down. God, <laughs> damn. Shot, that is I a life changing situation. Got shot, <laughs> I got shot the next year. This all took me to a trail ride. Bitch, I don't know how to level on grass. I mean, this whole doing shit like this all day. I'm like, bitch, I don't even know how to walk around this bitch. But he's like, stop me to laughing. Walk behind him. <laughs> This hoe, you got this hoe. I'm imagining the walking now. This hoe would grab me and pull me and be like, bitch, why you not walking fast enough? Bitch, I got one leg now, man. I did have to. I, it was adjustment to know he had one I leg. I need to see y'all outside together because I ain't gonna lie. Uh, this funny. shit sound funny hey, no, as fuck. Nah, nah, tell about the good shit though, bitch. About how we on dumb shit together though. Like, like, oh yeah, we be lit. When we, we drunk together, we be lit. Dumb shit, nigga. I believe you. Nigga, I believe you. Walked, you. Walked up to me and told me I had to leave. That hoe, Mary say, "Hey, bitch, who you talking to?" Period. No, because I don't be on that shit real quick. Or Man, I be on that dumb shit. Oh, uh, now she calling me Mary. Okay. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Thank y'all for coming to the Episode Podcast. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode, y'all. This episode is really cute to me. Wait, I, I, I ain't have say a... my Instagram. I said it for you, but go ahead. Poppy. You did. Go ahead. No, Poppy. Well, just let them know how to spell it because it's S U N N. Follow the big Let's go. S U N N I, not a Y. T H A R A P P E R. Yes, I am the spokesperson for the thick. I'm a professional shit popper. Watch how you talking for. I slapped the shit out you. Yo. Oh, you should have finished it. You should have cut on. You should have cut on. Oh, read it, read it. You got to cut on. Go, go, go. Oh. Say it again. Right like that. Go. Go, Sid. Go on, Tom. See, I been trying to have fun with him. Tell me have fun. The way I got hit up and shit back then. Think I looked up. I'm a feeling. Now you see. Now you know it's on. Push it up like L.A. Fitness Chopper. Make this shit. On the way to the party. Excuse us for the tardy. Had to pick up Amari and cop some Bacardi. 
But tennis boys, some shy, it's going starting to get high He ain't the five bitch, I think night, you can't stand in this spot Oh, I'll to the DJ, this a song you finna play Let me grab that mic, oh, I'm feeling right Ain't no worries, ain't no stress tonight We a little drunk, so be polite Staring at me, oh, what a light I guess you got some stage fright So DJ, turn these lights on low Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow So DJ, turn these lights on low Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow We gon' go all night, we gon' go all night Don't care we do Something nice and slow So DJ Turn these lights on low Come with me, me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow We gon' go all night We gon' go all night Don't care we do it right Who cares we do it right We gon' live our life We gon' live our life I ain't no sleep tonight I ain't no sleep tonight Yeah, yeah, yeah. 